Now this collector is responsible, or will be responsible for up to 90% of the hot water in this house. So in a typical house where you spend a lot, all your money on gas or electricity, you like to supplement this um, heater with maybe 10 to 15% at the most of the energy needed to, to heat the hot water in the house. So we're looking at here are the line sets that are going to go down to the basement. Now you've got one that is basically coming up and one that is going down. What happens is the fluid runs through the collector right here, um, gets heated up to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then goes down to heat the water. Now the water that comes out of the tank is only going to come out at 120 degrees because we have a, a mixing valve on it that, also, that controls the amount of hot water that can come out so you don't get scalded. Um, what's nice about the hot water heater downstairs also is that you don't have to worry about ever turning it off if you, if, you, if you go on vacation because the sun's constantly heating it and you don't have to pay for the energy from the sun. I'm here with the project manager for this project and also our VP of production, Justin McCoslin. Can you explain to us what we're looking at here? We've got the collector that was on the roof that we looked at a second ago. What is, what is this that's in the, um, the basement? The collector has two pipes that come down hot and cold, and they are connected into the uh, storage tank, which all this will eventually be is a storage tank. It will hold the hot water. The cold water will go back to the solar panel, come back down here to the hot water will be stored. So the lines that came off the roof come to a pump station down here in the basement. This is the pump, the Velux pump, and what happens is there's a sensor in the pump, and when the water in the tank, the storage tank, gets um, below a certain point, the it pumps the fluid all the way back to the roof so it heats up again and comes down to the tank. Now this tank is responsible to hold all the hot water in the house and the collector of the roof is going is responsible for heating up to 85 percent of the hot water for this particular unit. Another thing to note that this is a gas backup so that means if it's forecast to be cloudy outside or if it's freezing or if there's snow um, there's a gas backup on the system and the gas only has to cut in when there's extreme temperatures outside and during the winter time. During the summer 100 percent of the hot water of the water in this house that's hot water will be heated by the sun.